automation, automation, <laughs> automation, automation, and when, yeah, we take that again. My name is Jens Munk, and I am heading up our work on global trade and supply chains. Let's start by thinking what this industry is, first of all. Um, global trade is really everything about it, around us. If we look at it, the shirt I have on, the jacket, it, it's a composed of many, many different elements that will come from different factories, uh, different production sites around the world. If you look at it uh, today, how this works, it, it is a very distributed uh, group of organization, manufacturers, transporters, uh, data owners in there that are siloed all over the place and they, they orchestrate themselves today in what I call black boxes, meaning that the manufacturer will send some information about what's going on to the buyer in the, the distributor in the other end, at the retailer, uh, around the order, but then send some information to the freight forwarder that that uh, actor needs to, to use to the next actor in the line, which could be a trucking company, or it could be getting it to, to customs where you need to cross borders and fill out documentation and so on. All these actors are talking in black boxes, one peer up, one peer down. We, to some extent, of distributed lecture, can be that central actor in a decentralized way. So you don't have to share all your data uh, f uh, that will keep, take you out of business. Uh, but you will have, be able still to share with relevant parties how can we orchestrate each other. So it's about data trust. That's, I mean, the entry point here is trust in data in supply chains. You can look through the supply chain, you get the transparency in the supply chain, how it's been produced, by whom. But you also get visibility. And visibility between actors, how do they collaborate on this? How can they use the data to collaborate and become more efficient? Uh, if you have the distributed ledger as the central bus where by everybody sharing their events, the orchestration will become so much faster. With a distributed ledger, permissionless, in the middle of supply chains, you would be able to allow participants to share data very, very quickly with each other and organize the supply chain. And that's an efficiency game for the whole industry. Thank you.